Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to populate a combo box with the database values using your Visual Basic Windows Form application. Now, in this video, I want to show you how to populate the corresponding value to a index or the value selected in the combo box in these text boxes. So basically what I want to do is I have these columns in my MySQL database and I want to transfer the value corresponding to the name. For example, I, when I select John, his employee ID, name, surname and age will be reflected or will be shown in these text boxes. So for every name I want to show the employee ID name surname and age for every selected name so I want to show you just that in this video so let's get started and let's see how we can do it so what uh, you need to do first is you just go to your uh, form and in the last video itself I have shown you how to populate your combo box right and this was in form load event so I will just select my form and double click it and here I have shown you how to populate a combo box so I'm going to use uh, this code once again because it's just a skeleton of uh, the code which I'm going to use uh, for this video also so what I'm going to do next is I will select my combo box and double click it and this will lead to an event called combo box selected index change event. So when you change the index of the combo box then what you want to do is you want to populate your text boxes with the corresponding values right. So here in the combo box one select an index change event I have pasted all the code which I have written in the last video so go and see the last video and copy and paste the same code or otherwise you can pause the video and copy the code from here from top to bottom this code okay and now what I want to do is I want to change this query here because this all will remain the same and I have been uh, showing you or explaining you what these uh, this code do and what this try catch block do in the last few videos right so I'm going to go to this query um, string and I want to change the query to um, to get the value with the corresponding selected value in the combo box so this query now will be select star or has asterisk from your database name which is my database name which is database dot the table name which is the name of my uh, table which is edata and then just write after that where name why I am choosing name because in my combo box I have populated names in my combo box right so let me show you once again these are all the list of names which is populated in the combo box right so this comes from the name column in my database this one that's why I have written names here okay so select star from database dot e data where name is equal to single quote in between double quotation in between this and sign and in here just write the name of your combo box which is combo box 1 which I have shown you in the last video so this is the name of my combo box combo box 1 right so just write the name of your combo box one dot text okay and this is your query 
so your query now is select star from database dot your table name where name is equal to which is the column name which I populate the combo box with and then single quote double quote and just write this okay and now the command will remain same so I'm not going to change this reader will also remain same and what I'm going to change here is now I want to take the values of the employee ID name surname and age corresponding to the value I select in the combo box and populate my text boxes all these text boxes right so I will go into my while loop which I have while reader dot read this reader is this variable here and in my while loop what I will write here is so I will write the name of my text box for all the text boxes one by one so the text box EID which is the name of my first text box right and the second text box name is name third text box name is surname and the fourth text box name is age right so the name of all my text boxes text box name for EID text box name for name surname and age right and then I will write dot text is equal to for all the text boxes and in between dot here okay and then I want to populate these text boxes with the value I fetch from the database corresponding to the name which I have select in the combo box. So what I will write here is I am going to copy my reader variable which is my MySQL data reader object and I will write here reader dot get int 32 why I'm doing this I will show you in a moment and I will write here EID okay so why I have taken get int here because in my database in my table I have declared this EID as an integer so when I see all the data types of my table you see here employee ID is an int name is var care which is a type of string surname is also a type of string and age is integer so because EID is an integer that's why I have taken here get int 32 right so in the same way for age also I am going to use this get int 32 which because age is also a uh, integer right and for the string for name I will say get string and in the bracket I will write the name of the column for the name so these all EID name and once more surnames so EID name surname and age are my column names EID name surname and age this is exactly the name of my column this one is the name of the column in the table in the database right so just write this and that's it that's a code to load your uh, selected combo box values corresponding values to the text boxes right so if you want you can pause the video and just copy this and now I'm going to run the program and I will give my username and password and my values are populated which are names from the database and when I select any name the corresponding value should come here right so I will select John and the corresponding value to John which are 
employee ID 1, surname is Bell and age is 27 is shown here. Some other name, Mark, Mark employee ID is, what is the employee ID of Mark? This one. So employee ID 7 and the surname is Gil, age is 55 and like this, right? And if you, your database or column which you populate here contains two, two similar names, then this text box will show the later values, right? So for example, I have Mark here and Mark here, two similar names. Then my text box will show the last value of the name find right otherwise if it's a unique name then it will show the corresponding value call employee id 8 and the surname and the age right so in this way you can show the corresponding value chosen from the combo box in your text boxes i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now